Today our instructor is none other than Christian Sadler. There he is, our, our very own Superman. This is a, a fantastic guy. Let me tell you, he, he was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth and opportunities on every hand. He, he had a few struggles in life, but he decided, what do I really want? He, he asked himself that, and he, he answered it. He, he wanted something better. He wanted to be able to make a difference not only for his own life, but he's the type of person that reaches out to those around him wherever he is. And he knew that he couldn't make a difference in other people's lives to give them a hand up unless he was already up the, the ladder a rung or two ahead of them. And so he got the skills that he needed. He improved himself. He reached out to got his education and as he learned he started reaching out to help other people up this ladder and he has made such a difference to everyone in our community he's always got that great big smile you see on your screen right there Christian how are you today I am great Ron how about yourself it is a wonderful day I'm glad you're here yeah, I am glad to be here and uh, grateful for you as well I just see how cool it is that you're really taking on this role of the host and uh, making it better than I think anybody ever has with your slides and your music and, and all of those things. And I just love to see that when somebody takes on a task and just really gets passionate about it. And well, uh, I know, uh, Ron, that that is benefiting everyone. That's making everybody's day start off uh, even better. So thank you for that. I appreciate you. And uh, folks, let's just jump into things. And the one thing that I wanted to talk about today was orders, was, you know, getting paid, right? I think that's what you guys are here for. I think that's why you guys joined this call is because you want to get paid, right? So who, who knows how many um, days we have left to enter orders in January, Anybody want to uh, put it into the chat box? How many days do we have left? I know it. I've got it right in the front of my mind. Every morning I walk over to my uh, calendar here and I fill in a day and I see how much closer we are to the days of entering orders and how much closer we are to days of being able to fund those orders. All right, Wanda, you got it. Six. Six more days to enter orders in January of 2018. Some of you guys are, you know, planning for January, but you're planning too far ahead, right? You're too far out. We have six days left to enter orders. Now, who knows, put it into the chat, who knows how many days we have left to fund the orders that we have entered anytime prior and up until six days from today. Put it in the chat. Who knows how many days we have left to fund those orders for January 2018? I'm still looking for an answer here. Put it in the chat. How many days do we have left to fund the orders that are entered any, any time prior to today up until six days? Wanda, we don't quite have 19 to be able to enter the orders. You got to remember there's a, uh, there, there is, um, uh, the, there's a, a, a weekend in there. So how many days do we have to be able to fund those orders? Some good guesses. We have 16 days left, folks. So, Wanda, you were very close. Like I said, it's the, uh, the weekend, I think, that threw you off there that you want to make sure you get it in early enough that uh, it'll pay out on that Tuesday. You make sure that it's in uh, a business day early in order to make sure that it pays you out and pays us out. So uh, 16 days. We have until the 26th, 26th to fund your orders. So think about that, folks. We have until the 17th to enter orders in January. 
We have until the 26th to fund those orders in January, okay? So here's what I would like to do. I'd like to make this participatory. And uh, here's and what we're going to do is we're actually going to share uh, a couple of things, okay? So I want you guys to, to put yourselves in a spot, if you can, where you can come off a of mute and go back on mute, right? Because we want to make sure that we do keep the line uh, clear. And I want you to think of the recent order or orders that went into your business center as a combo. Um, and I want you to think about the last order or a couple of orders that funded. And uh, what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, share my screen. And we're going to put it on a whiteboard here. And we're going to write this out. Okay. So uh, for me, and I'm going to start this off just so you guys understand what I'm doing here. Okay. So this is uh, entered. And then this is funded. All right. So for me, the last couple of sales that went into uh, my business center were from, let me get back to my draw here. All right. We're from Warm Market. Yeah, I'll keep switching here. Warm market and Facebook. These are the orders that went into my business center. And they funded through, um, let's see, the warm market funded through uh, it was credit cards, credit cards, and UGA. So they funded some of it through credit cards and the rest through UGA. The Facebook did it through all credit cards. Actually, it was credit and cash. So credit cards. No, 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 they waited for their cards. I remember now. They didn't use their cash. They used their cash afterwards to pay down those cards to help build those uh, uh, relationship with those banks. All right, so this is now where I open it up for you folks. So if you're in a spot to do so, just do me a favor and come off a of mute and share with me the last couple of orders that went into your business center where did they come from? What lead source did they come from? And the last couple of orders that funded into your business center, how did they fund? And what, I wanna, what I'm doing this for, folks, is because we have six days left to enter orders. We have 16 days left to be able to fund those orders. So let's talk about how people are getting involved in this business and how they're funding their education so that you folks can put a focus in that area. Sound good? All right, so who wants to come out first? Dan Gleason. Oh. Hey Dan, come on out. Hey Christian, how you doing today? I am wonderful. Um, the last, or I think the last four we've done were all warm market and they were all via credit cards. All right, I'm going to do this plus four, and then credit cards plus four. Cool. Thank you. Uh, warm Market, if you could, give us a little tip on how you connected with those last four Warm Market folks and got them engaged in the process. Former, former colleagues in corporate America and, uh, let's see, one – one relative just watching and observing what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Are they watching via social media or is it that you're uh, getting together with these folks on a regular basis? How did that come about? 
Um, just going to our events and then realizing um, the deals and uh, real estate transactions we did and kind of understanding, hey, this is working for you. We want it to work for us. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Cool. Um, what was maybe some tips on those initial conversations to get those people to show up to events? I think a lot of it was um, velocity banking. I think that's kind of the, the home run right now. People are just looking to get out of debt and learn how to pay debt off. Yeah. And then, uh, I think some of the other people in the corporate America arena, they're, they're concerned because their 401ks and their retirements aren't really looking like they thought they would. And they know they need to do something else to either supplement it or basically replace it. Makes sense. I think one of them was laid off as well. And that, that's a good motivator. Yeah. And all of those create an opportunity to start a conversation. So Correct. appreciate you sharing. Thanks Christian. All right, who was that? Somebody else was trying to come out right at that same time. That was me, Wanda. Hey, Wanda. Come on out. Hey, good money. I have one order that I entered and funded the same day on the 1st of January. And uh -huh. it's, it's a um, one market. It's a friend of mine for over four years. He worked with me on my last job. And... I brought him to the presentation long, long, long time ago, like maybe during the summer. And he's been just watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me until finally he decided, hey, I think I need to do what you're doing. And um, so he he used UGA to pay, you know, the, the down payment and then the remaining in UGA. And then the other one was similar case, um, a co-worker, you know, ex colleague from my last job, and again, um, she and her husband has been coming to a event. Um, he even came to a, in, an intensive, and she he continued to say, "Hey, I need to talk to the boss. I need to talk to the boss." And the boss, you know, the wife <laughs> who is my friend too, she's been watching me on Facebook, and needless to say, last Thursday she said, come over to my house. And I'm like, I'm very surprised. And then on Friday, I thought I was going to go Friday and I actually missed it. And she's like, at night, she told me, oh, I'm sorry you didn't come and put me a, a sad, happy face. I said, okay, I promise I will go on Saturday. And after the house tour on Saturday, I went. And then they had all paid everything with credit card. So. I love it. All right. Yeah. So add another one on here. You know, plus five. All right, Wanda, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. So sometimes if you've got people in the process and they ask you to come to their house, um, go make that trip. <laughs> right, folks? So, all right. Who's next? Who else wants to come out? So far we have Warm Market plus six and Facebook for where the, uh, the leads came from. We have credit cards with UGA, credit cards by themselves, and all UGA, which obviously we know all UGA means they put uh, most likely a $4,000 down. So who else wants to come out and share your most recent order or couple of orders that you have entered? And if there's anybody on the line that's wanting to participate and they're still working on, you know, getting uh, those first orders in, share where you came from, right? Share where you, where you came from and how you connected with your uh, five star and uh, how you funded your education. Edwin. Hey, Edwin. Hey, how you doing, Christian? Uh, my last two were Walmart, both of them, and they both were 
Well, the first one was contacted by Facebook Messenger, and the last one, uh, Warm Market, uh, through phone and text, were very good friends for years. Uh, they both joined with multiple credit cards, full. All right, perfect. And uh, so with that Facebook Messenger, did they message you first or did you message them first? Um, we, we contacted them first. And how did you start that conversation? And Edwin, if you're talking, then we don't hear you. You might have went back on mute. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So we, my wife sent a, uh, an Insta message on Facebook saying we have something that we want you to to see, and then uh, it his curiosity, and uh, then we send him the Mitch uh, uh, epic presentation on on webinar. Okay. Very cool. And which one did you send them? Which is it the video of him inside the house? Uh, do you hear that? No, I didn't hear you. Nope. Sorry, I'm driving. I'm heading to Centerville. Um, the uh, we sent them the the webinar that started with fifteen. Oh, Edwin, I think we're losing you. That's all right, though. I think we get the point, uh, and I appreciate you being willing to come out, even though you're uh, driving down to the college, or I mean, to the live taping. Um, and I think we get the idea. You reaching out to people on Facebook and having a conversation and just being straight up front with them. Hey, we've got something that we want you to see. All right, who else wants to come out? Who's next? Come on out and share. We're, what we're doing, folks, if you've just recently joined us, is we want you to share the most recent couple of orders that you've entered into your business center. Where did they come from? And the most recent orders that funded in your business center where did they come from? And we're doing this because we're keeping a close eye on our calendar and we know what our timeline is. We've, we've got six days. We've only got six days left in January to enter orders to have them pay us in January. And we only have 16 days to be able to fund any orders that are in the system or that we enter over the next six days. So. We're looking at where are the most prominent amount of leads coming from and how are people getting funded. And so far, I've got the tally there on the board. So who else wants to come out? Nobody else? I know a lot of people are probably heading to the live taping right now, and uh, it might be a little bit difficult for you to come off of mute. Um, but I'm just going to give another about 30 seconds. If anybody can come off of mute and share where their last couple of orders came from as far as entered and how their last, last couple of orders who funded, funded their education. Christian, that's Linda Pitchford. Hey, Linda. Hi, how are you today? Wonderful. Yeah. My last order was from Warm Market, and they funded through UGA. Okay. Warm Market is just leading the charts. So we're going to add that plus nine, and then UGA plus one. Perfect. And how did you start that conversation with those folks? I'm trying to, I think we just invited, oh, I remember it was, we did a CRP party 
at Trina's house and we invited them to that. And then a little bit later, they came down to a meeting. So. Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. All right. Who else? Give one last chance here. See if anybody else wants to uh, come on out and share. All right, folks. Well, then this, this kind of gives you a clear picture, a clear idea of where leads are coming from and how they are getting funded. And, you know, it's really not that broad, right? There's, a, there's over 130 ways to market your business. And right now, Warm Market and Facebook are leading the charts. In fact, you even heard that some of these Warm Market they were reached out to via Facebook. So what are you doing to create intrigue within your Facebook and within the people that you know? Are you taking the direct approach of saying, I have something that I want you to see, and then simply getting them in front of this information? Because that's what's working, folks. That's not just what we say to do. That's not just what we you know, uh, suggest that you do. We're giving you real evidence through your peers of how people are getting their leads and credit cards and UGA are the top two ways that people are getting funded right now. So uh, go, going for the credit cards, if somebody's not able to get enough through the credit cards, throw UGA in there to add to it and uh, you know there you go. But as you can see, overall, the, the winner here as far as how people are funding is credit cards, right? Banks are aggressive in their lending right now. And, uh, you know, part of this is this because of what we teach, right? It's because it's such a useful tool. It's because, right, people can take these credit cards, they can apply the velocity banking, and they can implement this into their life. So, warm market, clear winner, and credit cards, the clear uh, winner as far as how orders are getting entered and how they're getting funded. Take this information, use it, apply it, get those orders in folks. Let me know what I can do to help you. Thanks for joining us.